opportunity to do a video and say hello to everyone. Smoking my uh, LHS that I got. I did a video and I showed you guys this pipe. Well, I don't know if you could see it or not, but I went ahead and bent the stem. Um, I got the pipe and I spoke about it, but then after the video I tried to remove the stem and I couldn't get the stem out. It was next to impossible to get it out. I went ahead and took a hair dryer and I heated up the pipe trying to expand it a little bit to get the stem out. I couldn't get the stem out so I was convinced that it was glued in. I sent the seller a note and I told them that I believe the stem is glued in place and it was unusable and unacceptable and I really didn't want it and I wanted to send it back to them and I wanted a full refund plus shipping both ways. They proceeded to write me a nasty gram saying that the stem is not glued in place, that it's just difficult to remove and if I am so mechanically challenged that I can't do it, to return it to them and they will go ahead and remove the stem for me. I thought, my, how friendly of these people. So I went ahead and proceeded to check the, the pipe out. I went ahead and I had to actually place the stem into a vise and I was able to twist the pipe off of the stem. And I'll tell you, I've had hundreds, hundreds of pipes and I've yet to find one that was so tight that I had to place it in a vise to twist the stem, the stem out. Well, I did it, and I sanded down the stem a little bit, the uh, the tenon. I sanded it down, and I went ahead and I heated up the stem, and I bent it a little bit, and it's pretty nice, actually. I'm kind of liking this. The grain is pretty nice on it. It's got a nice golden band. I don't know if you could see that or not. I'm not sure what this stem is made out of. I think it might be... I'm not sure if they call that Bakelite or not. It's not uh, Vulcanite. Uh, it's hard. It's real hard. Even to the teeth it feels hard. So I'm not exactly sure what that is. I think, I think it's Bakelite, but I'm not 100% positive. I'm almost 100% positive that it's not uh, acrylic. So, I'm smoking my LHS with some Cornell and Deals Mississippi Mud. This is the, actually the third bowl of Mississippi Mud that I've smoked. Hang on one second, I'll get the tip. Here it is here, Mississippi Mud. I don't know if you can see it or not. What I like about Cornell and Deal, they've got a real neat designs for their different tobaccos on their tins. But um, this is claims to be some Perique, Latakia, and some unsweetened black Cavendish. Um, I don't know if it would be considered like an in-between um, English and aromatic. It's not really aromatic and it's not super Englishy either. Um, I don't know if they would call that a um, what do they call that a uh, non-aromatic. Non I'm not sure what that's called, but uh, like I said, this is the third bowl I've had in different pipes. I had a bowl of it in the pipe that I made, the little poker. Um, the first half of it was okay. The second half started tasting kind of nasty. I don't know if it was because of the pipe. 
Um, I had a bowl of it last night in my Mario Grande. I wanted to show you guys this. This is the Mario Grande that I got in replacement for the one that I told you about that I wasn't satisfied with. The one had the, uh, the bowl. It wasn't centered. Uh, the shank was lopsided. And through a bunch of playing around, I sent the pipe back to them. It cost me 23 bucks to send it back. They told me to pick out another one I did, and it was this one. Actually, it's, it's a pretty neat pipe. It's a good size pipe. I, I like the, the nice little uh, the nice little stem on it. Got a little fishtail going on there, I guess. Now, I smoked the Mississippi mud in it last night, and I'll tell you what, it tasted like it was mud. I don't. Once again, I don't know if that was the pipe. I'm smoking it in a smaller bowl now, and it tastes it tastes pretty good. So maybe that's the thing. Uh, Mario Grande, I'm not real sure I like the way that they go about their their blasting and staining. It's a combination there, the black and the brown. But it, it, it's okay. I'm not displeased with it. I guess like for the 50 bucks or whatever that the pipe actually cost, you get what you pay for. It was just kind of a hassle to do business with them, sending it back and all of that. The pipe originally comes to you in like two days. But they said it would take two weeks from the time that I sent my pipe back into them. And it pretty much was about two weeks from the time that I sent it to the time I got the new one back. They sent me a note telling me that they sent the pipe. And about two days later I got the pipe. So the actual transportation was only about two days. trying to keep this thing lit. Like I said, it's a beautiful day out. Sunday morning, I went to church, had an awesome time. It's just absolutely incredible how God is working in my life right now, and I'm just so totally blessed and excited. I wanted to uh, make a comment about our friend Rachel, who is still in a coma, and she's been moved to another facility. She's out of the hospital, but she's in a coma, and she's moving and mumbling, but she's they're pretty much to a point where they're going to take her off any form of life support and, and hope for the best. So I just ask for prayers to go out to her that the Lord will heal her as we know that He can. And some prayers for the parents, Bert and Nancy, who are really dealing with a, a trying time right now. The Bible says that when I am weak, I am strong. And that's basically saying that some of our lowest points in our life, when we're having the hardest time, is really when we get strength. And it's kind of like exercising a muscle where you have to break it down and then it actually builds itself back up. And when it builds itself back up, it becomes strong and it develops. And it makes itself better than what it was. I want to send a shout out to uh, Pipe Pastor Pete and his son Bold O'Donohue. I've been communicating with those guys and uh, those are truly a couple of uh, wonderful people. If you haven't checked out their channels, please check them out. They're very, uh, very nice, very loving. Uh, individuals and uh, a great addition to the uh, pipe community. Uh, that's about it for now. I just uh, hope you all have a blessed a Sunday. Land, Chapter 1